Hello, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to talk to your BZ11 Cube with an OBD2 adapter because I had a lot of trouble making it work. Um, obviously the first thing is start the car and turn the adapter on. I took the cover off the back of mine just so I could see what I was doing. Uh, next thing is to pair with the adapter, which I've renamed on my phone because I had quite a few of them. Okay, so I, I had to actually tell the phone to search and then it found the adapter. I'm not sure why, but uh, oh great. Well, that's okay, give it a message. Anyway, because it's on the top of the list, it's paired. So the next thing is, I've been using the Talk app and I've tried three or four different adapters. I even rewired one of them and it still wouldn't work. I had no luck at all. So then I used Car Scanner and it actually works. Well, it should work. <laughs> I was talking, very successful. Now you can't see a lot of stuff. But, you can see a few things like RPM and temperature. And I was particularly interested in the temperature because here in Sydney we've had some stinking hot days and we've been driving the car with the air on and as you can imagine, I was a bit worried about, you know, what temperature the, <laughs> the car was getting to. But you can see other things like, you know, instantaneous fuel, um, RPM. You can actually do a calculation using this one to give you instantaneous horsepower, which is, you know, not too bad an estimation, actually. Now, the other big thing about this is when you get this car scanner pro from the play store and by the way this is running on an android device sorry about the, about the camera work uh, in settings and uh, connection what you want to actually pick is this setting here nissan consult 2 that's the one that makes it work and that's the setting that the Talk app doesn't have, unfortunately, because I quite like the Talk app. But this uh, app has got a lot of different settings. And the one to pick is the Nissan Consult 2. I think there's about 20 different options. Uh, I was working through them and then of course I saw the Consult 2 connection and I've read before that um, non-OBD2 cubes uh, or you know, Nissans that were not sold in America they actually run the Nissan Consult as the interface. So this is how you actually pick the connection. You have to be disconnected uh, which I've just done. You click Profile you click Nissan, and there you will see that there's a lot. And um, you could go through and try all of them, but it'll take you <laughs> quite some time because it takes three minutes to fail. But once I saw it had the consult, I just picked it straight away and it went. Okay, that's it, bye.